I'm very proud to say that we still can find in this world people like Mr. Ferenc, but also people like Mohammed Al Abdallah, who take up the mantle and who take up the challenge to defend with the law um, our norms, our values, our way of living. I think I made a difference. We have moved forward. We have a court with all of its problems, and it's in The Hague, in next to the Peace Palace as well and tribute to the Dutch government who has gone further than any other government in moving toward a rule of law, and I thank you for that. I thank you very much for, for this recognition because all the work and the support of great people like Ben, like governments, like the United States government and the Netherlands, meant a lot to human rights defenders. Just get the emotional and ethical and moral support and political support and also your financial support. It's all important to, to our work. And when we talk about the greatest generation, this is who we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about the men and women who went out and combated evil, who looked it in the eye and said, not on my watch. Muhammad al-Abdullah has never been neutral and he's never been silent. And for that, humanity has a champion who we honor today with the Anne Frank Special Recognition Award. You are deservedly an icon, a living legend, an inspiration to all of a better and more hopeful future for humanity. As we leave this extraordinary event, I hope each of us will look inward to consider the question of our accountability for justice and human rights in our world.